compared to the average. First one to Brandon Marsh. That is just outside. A lot of homers. And yet, they've had amongst the best record in baseball. And in Walker's case, he doesn't strike a lot of guys out. On the ground if he can. 1-1. One, one. Big breaking ball. That's in there at the top. Alex Cora and company beat the Mariners by a final score of 2 to nothing. So this is the only one going on right now in baseball. Marsh rips one. That's in right field. Heading over is Marte. Brandon heads the second throw coming in quickly. And a uh, tag attempt did not have the ball in his glove. Marsh hit 106 miles an hour. Trout steps on one, that is over the head of Lindor. Marsh rounds, and just like that, Taiwan Walker and the Mets are in a hole. Mike Trout picks up another RBI, is 34th. Ball strike one. Mike Trout can Dealing with a groin injury, so seeing Mike Trout steal bases at this point, not likely to happen. This is a tailor-made double play ball and an easy one. For Jeff McNeil, who does an important part of the Angels. First baseman hit for the cycle last night. He looks for one that's in there for a called strike. Environment 22% above average. And this one to the ground, and it is through. Diving effort by Escobar, not there, and Walsh is aboard. And that was another hard hit ball, and Walsh coming up. Juan Walker, his last couple have been a little bit different, not to the 4 6 is egregious. That one's high and tight. Walsh's ball off the bat was 106. This one is popped up and heading towards the one ball, one strike. Duffy did not get a piece of it, just missed off the outside offensive player. Joe Boo. That's it, Joe Boo. Trout drove him in with a single. Quick double play and another single, and Duffy, that's into right field, and there was a shift on. Walsh will stop at second, but another hit, fourth of the first inning off Taiwan. Walmer met right fielder. Sixth hitter at the top of the first. Right field heading towards the line, so is Marte. He won't. Movement you don't really want on a four-seam fastball. You want it more on a two-seamer. Look out. Nearly got Magaris. It was an off-speed pitch, a splitter. That his movement has really changed there's less riding action on it. Therefore, Lacana in left, Nimmo in center, Marte in right, with Mito behind the plate. So I think it's. 2 2, trying to keep it at one. This ball to center on a line. Nimmo is there, and that'll do it. So the Mets said Walker escaped six stretch. Otani wasn't hitting or pitching. Taylor Ward, who was the best hitter, he got hurt. And Rendon was out for a while. Bottom of the second with Kurt Suzuki, Tyler Wade, and Andrew Velasquez. Interesting. So you guys help me out here. And now six games later, six losses later, he apparently did because Madden was out. Strikeout there for Taiwan Walker. We Let's shake things up. And Phil Nevin's kind of a middle of the road. Paid his dues guy. Tyler Wade, that's foul. And to add on to that, He's the one that has to rattle the guys. That's going foul, Buster. Yeah, guys, the chain winner, they had talked about moving Trout, Mike Trout to a corner outfield spot to save wear and turn his legs. Uh, but uh, as the decisions like that stacked up, and it was okay as long as they were winning, but once they started losing, that's when it fell apart. There was the people, including, I remember the shot of Mike Trout in center field. Like, wait, did we? Just do that. And how about Walker, who wasn't getting any swings and misses? I was surprised that he came out and said there's too much interference. Way too many folks that have never done it before are taking the place of those that presented. Feels like in modern-day baseball, that theory that you have to have, but you have to respect both, both ends of it. Especially with decision makers. You know, they, they understand the value that yeah, ironically that guy Phil Nevin is more of an old-school culture change yes guy. he is and how about Taiwan Walker As we start the bottom of the third inning leadoff hitter Brandon Marsh doubled his first time up and the first pitch misses badly 
think it works. I mean, it's good for the fan base, for the fans across the country just to see, you know, on field what's going on. Now we get a little more insight. We, we wish you were in center field too, but we'll take this. This is great. Our swings and misses at that one. All right now, hey, you know, you got to get a pitch to hit and you can't miss it. We'll see. Come on, Marshall. Throw offline, it drew Alonzo off the back. Yeah, now. And Pete Alonzo went all offensive lineman. It was a block there. It's Trout swings and misses at that one. Right. 16 on the season, 34 runs batted in. Look out. Two and two, set up outside. That's where he goes and he misses badly. So consistent. I don't think he had a real answer for why it's not in the 120s. Because when he hits it, it goes. They'll check first and punched out his trout. <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's tough up there right now. Yeah, so you battle back. Just like little up and in. It's even it. tough to get, get out of the way. Just. Other as they look? Yeah, they're sick. I like them. They turned out really good. Really good. Brandon center field going back, reaching up, making a nice play is Jeff McNeil. Joe put me at ease. He's Known Joe for a long time, played for him in 1998. We were excited to work together this year, uh, be around everybody. So that, that, didn't call, that call for me was uh, the most important I think I made after this. Shohei Otani, not in the line. Last night to tonight would be a good night. I know it's not uh, good news for the ESPN family out there, but uh, a healthy Shohei. And he fouls that off, finishing. Brian. You know, we're, we're, it's not like we're coming here trying to lose. You know, right. we had a, we, we got a great group of guys and we, you know, we were staying, we were staying positive. You know, it was a rough stretch, obviously. You know, when you feel like you're at the top and, you know, all of a sudden you, you, you lose a few in a row. Come on, baby. Yeah, yeah sir, that's shot. nice. That's, that's a nice hit in. right there. That's Matt Duffy right in on his hands. You know, everybody on your team gets asked. What it's important. Now Juan Lagaris. Squares to bunt. That's high and a near throwdown. But as you as you guys probably know, I don't know I don't know where you heard that. I have to talk to Buster. <laughs> we'll send him. We'll about the weather because you're in a place where the weather is pretty much consistent, but you love the weather. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I like. Uh, you know, my dad got me into it when I was a kid, and I just uh, I loved it ever since. And obviously, Cantori keeps me updated when when. Uh, I have no idea. I just always done it. Um, just missed that. Uh, had a good team. Obviously, you know, with uh, with Dallas being in the division and New York getting better. And obviously, Redskins as well. You ended up owning teams. Any interest in ownership? Owning a team? Yeah. I mean, down the road, I'd be probably sick. You know, I, uh, that's, a, that's a legendary fantasy football league right there. Boys, Luke. So, all right, so you brought, what makes it let? What? <laughs> now, there's definitely a waiting list now. Everybody's calling me, texting me, saying, hey, what's up with this league? How do I get in? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's going to people, guys are diehard fans of football. I'm, I'm myself included. Just, uh, just love, you know, sure. <laughs> for sure. But he won it. Yeah, he won it. Like a, a free ESPN league fantasy guy? What's that? Were you ever on the ESPN League? I think that's what we ran. Is that right? We got a great team this year. He did a great job in the offseason bringing guys in. And uh, we got a great relationship. Okay. Yay! What's it? Never hit left handed, no. I beat my, my one of my buddies, uh, Brian Furman, was talking a lot of smack. And, I, and uh, <laughs> the, never mind. There's a little side bet. Yeah, a little hey. side bet. Let, <laughs> let me just ask you this. Was it worse than the Lady Gaga outfit you had? <laughs> Two and a half hour flight. <laughs> he talked about being comfortable. Oof. Four, there. Uh, you know, learn some, you know, earn some respect from your, te your teammates. You know, you don't, don't want to fight.
fight that. Tyler Wade is gone. Mike, thanks so much for the time. I'm sure that all it's the White Sox. They are concluding their six game trip out west. They will take on the AL West leading Astros at seven o'clock Eastern time tonight. Sunday night countdown. Houston having another meteoric season in the AL West. The White Sox. You know, when, you, when you're losing games that the pressure starts to mount. That maybe, you know, some oh, oh count right out of the get go. Then you don't really question it, even with a runner on first. If you don't feel confident, put four fingers up because that's not the type of manager that he's been in the past. Andrew Velasquez punched out. Buster, can you add on the white side? The general manager during that time, too. This is uh, an eye-out. I appreciate the shadows being a factor. But he still has eight strikeouts tonight. Movement straight down this year, and that's been very effective. And ahead 0-2 oh, on Marsh. Yeah. And he wanted that call. He didn't get it. There you go. How about another strikeout? Nine for Walker. Four inches more drop than average. And the horizontal, 1.5 inches less break than average. That's the profile you want for a splitter that has. Want to know to Mike Trout? That's a good one in there for a strike night. One and two. It's a well executed pitch there. Yeah. On a two two count. Three straight, four seam fastballs. That ball is hooked into the corner with just a little too much hook. Well, pitch he liked. Next one on the way, sky high on the infield. Escobar under it, moves to his left, makes the play, and Mike Trout. Honey Max Cy Young in that picture that we just saw. And a hug from Phil Nevin to his starter, Sandoval, as Rendon laid on a 93. Lady Gaga and a diaper. Did you ever have to go with something like that as Rendon <laughs> puts this up in the air? Marte settles under it. The, one of the many faces of David Cohn on that question. And they said, we didn't we didn't get you, did we? So they proceeded just to rip off all of my clothes on the plane. <laughs> and I had to walk off in a blanket. It's nice of them to let you use the blanket. It's nice of the, the flight attendants <laughs> to find a blanket for me. <laughs> I was very happy. Of, yeah, no, I had, a, I had a car. I had a car that I could hop into and, and drive home. Like it. <laughs> Good to and go. I, I had to ride the bus from the, the airport. I made blue blazer up the back. The kid. Yeah, that's strike three called and Walker. He was sitting splitter. Two quick outs, 91st pitch. Made so, long, so low the first inning, no swing and misses. You can't help as a pitcher but take inventory and wonder. A lot better. He's hitting his spots except for that last one, even though the swing was not made. But he gave up four hits. Ahead, one, two. He had a 10 strikeout game last year. He's going to let it, let it breathe a little bit. Two, two. Foul. And we showed a shot earlier of the mess there with Jeremy Hefner leading the way. Popped up, playable. Walker is calling for it, and then he's asked to exit stage left. <laughs> Eduardo Escobar.